Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. In this video, I just want to quickly promote a video I saw on another channel called Flight Test Community Association, and I'm going to leave links down below. So please go check out that video if you're looking for additional information. Everything's going to be down in the links below. Today, I just wanted to encourage everyone who flies FPVs, drones, or other types of remote controlled aviation to support this particular effort. In short, Josh Bixler from Flight Test, Dave Messina, President and CEO of FPV Freedom Coalition, have been working with congressional staffers for the Aviation Subcommittee for the FAA reauthorization going on in 2023. This apparently happens every five years. What they're trying to do is raise the current regulation for drone registration in the United States from its current 249 gram limit to one kilogram or 2.20 pounds. Now, they're also asking for the requirements for remote ID to also be raised to one kilogram or 2.2 pounds as well. Now, what that means to you and I is this, if we can get it, this through Congress, then folks like you and I will be able to fly our quads and planes without the need to register them or comply with remote ID all the way up to that one kilogram weight. Now, the way this exists today, if your FPV drone or remote plane weighs 0.55 pounds or up to 55 pounds, you have to register it with the FAA. With that being said, we can get rid of that. And all you need to do is a copy and a paste from a cover letter already written by the Flight Test Association, I'm sorry, Flight Test Community Association, and send it to your congressperson or persons. And if you're not familiar with remote ID, I did some previous videos on that as well. You'll find one of them right here. Again, all the links are going to be down below. This might take you five minutes, probably less, and you can really change the future and direction of this hobby. So big thank you to Flight Test Community Association and FPV Freedom Coalition for everything that you guys are doing. It's really appreciated. One more time, please use the links down below to support this initiative. I've already sent these letters in myself. And on a final thought before you go, I noticed more than one comment in the Flight Test Community uh, videos where someone wrote, just don't comply with remote ID. I truly don't believe that non-compliance is the solution. Somewhere between 25 to 50% of people in the U.S. today aren't complying with FAA regulations. As I was putting this video together, I saw Joshua Bardwell just recently posted a video on this topic as well. He gives some thoughts about non-compliance toward the end of his video, if you want to check that out. Regardless, before you go down that road, here's a little food for thought for when the FAA begins enforcing some of the newer rules like remote ID. And I'm gonna put a graph up here. It's gonna show the FAA's proposed fines of 70 enforcement actions to date between, between 2012 and 2020. And what you're gonna notice is the average fine was under $10,000, but also exceeded $10,000 on more than one occasion. Now, sometimes an aviation or UAS attorney will be able to reduce the amount of the penalty by reaching an agreement with an FAA prosecutor, but you're going to be paying your attorney in addition to the FAA fine, so you're going to need a pretty hefty checkbook. Just saying, it's not really the course to go for most of us. Not trying to scare you, just trying to point out the obvious, that simply ignoring FAA regulations doesn't make the problem just disappear. Anyway, I hope everyone gets involved and writes their congressperson. I'm not a political person, but I do enjoy the hobby and I want to continue to enjoy the hobby for years to come. That's it for this video. Hope you guys will support it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.